lectures on state and local governments. We're first going to start with the relationship between state government and local government. And this relationship is often defined by what's known as Dillon's Rule. And Dillon's Rule simply says that local governments are creatures of the state, which kind of implies that the state creates local governments and thus it has the authority to govern and abolish them. I always think of it as kind of how my mother used to say to me, she brought me into this world and she can take me out. My mom's the state and I'm the local government. It's kind of that type of relationship. Also, the state, we use, utilize something known as home rule. So we have Dillon's rule, which kind of governs the relationship, and home rule. Home rule is the idea that local governments can amend their charters without state approval as long as those changes are consistent with the state constitution. And this utilization of home rule is absolutely imperative in the state of Georgia due to our legislature's part-time status. Georgia has a lot of local government. We have 159 counties, over 180 school systems, and um, over 400 cities or municipalities. So obviously, state and local government are large um, employers in the state. The state and local governments are funded through um, income tax and sales tax. So the state gets um, income tax and sales tax. And the income tax is a very stable form of income for the state. The sales tax can be more of a volatile source of income for the state in poor economic conditions. And that's due to um, buying habits of residents of the state when the economy is down. We don't see people buying as much items and thus the state is not generating as much revenue from the sales tax source of income. Also, states, unlike the national government, must balance their budgets because states are constitutionally required to do so. So what you see occurring very often is when budget forecasts show a um, deficit, you will see the state government will begin to make tough decisions on program or budgetary cuts. Local governments are largely funded through sales tax. And a typical sales tax, a 7% sales tax that's paid at the store, is normally broken down as follows. 4% will go to the state, 1% will be shared by the city or county, 1% will go to the school SPLOST, which is a special purpose local option sales tax for the area, and 1% will go to a city or county SPLOST, or special purpose local option sales tax. These um, funds are then used to generate services that are very close to the state and local residents. 